Fox was born on the 27th of May 1815 in Warwickshire, England, as the youngest of seven siblings. His, his mum's name was Martha Falcon Bridge, and she died in 1842. His father's name was Thomas Parks. At the age of eight, he had very little education. Shortly after, they moved to Australia from debt and business failures. When he was older, since he was poor, he worked as a farmer labourer, factory worker, ivory churner, importer, shopkeeper and journalist to earn an income for himself. As a journalist, he started a newspaper called The Empire to educate people about rights and duties of a citizen in a democracy. He had a strong opinion about jobs and fair wages by opposing free labour. Sourced through convict transportation, he also argued for universal suffrage. He stood for what was right without gain of anything. He created Centenential Park to commemorate the 100th anniversary of European settlement in the colony. In 1888, all other men were given the right to vote and the lecture system was reformed. He introduced the training for nurses in public hospitals with the help of Florence Nightingale. In 1872 to 1891, Sir Henry Parks became the Premier for five different occasions. Then he became the member of the Free Trade Party. In 1836, Parks married Clarinda Varney and had two kids, and unfortunately divorced in 1888. Shortly after, his kids died at young age. In 1889, he married Eleanor Dixon when he divorced within 1895. When he was in his 70s, he married 20-year-old Julia Lynch and had kids. Altogether, he had 17 kids. He had many ups and downs and eventually got govern a government job. In 1889, at a school at Tenterfield Oration, he spoke the Getzberg Address because he believed in it. In 1856, he was elected into the New South Wales government. In 1866, he became the minister in the government and became the premier of New South Wales. This is one of his quotes. In one hand, I have a dream. In the other, I have an obstacle. Tell me which one grabs your attention. Unfortunately, he passed away on the 27th of April, 1896 in Sydney, colony of New South Wales.